In probability theory, heavy tail distributions are probability distributions whose tails are not exponentially bounded. That is, they have heavier tails than the exponential distribution. In many applications it is the right tail of the distribution that is of interest, but a distribution may have a heavy left tail, or both tails may be heavy. There are three important subclasses of heavy tail distributions. The fat tail distributions, the long tail distributions and the sub-exponential distributions. In practice, all commonly used heavy tail distributions belong to the sub-exponential class. There is still some discrepancy over the use of the term heavy tailed. There are two other definitions in use. Some authors use the term to refer to those distributions which do not have all their power moments finite, and some others to those distributions that do not have a finite variance. The definition given in this article is the most general in use, and includes all distributions encompassed by the alternative definitions, as well as those distributions such as log normal that possess all their power moments, yet which are generally acknowledged to be heavy-tailed. Definitions Definition of heavy tail distribution The distribution of a random variable x with distribution function f is said to have a heavy right tail if this is also written in terms of the tail distribution function as this is equivalent to the statement that the moment generating function of f mf is infinite for all t greater than zero. The definitions of heavy tailed for left tailed or two tailed distributions are similar. Definition of long tail distribution The distribution of a random variable x with distribution function f is said to have a long right tail if for all t greater than zero. Or equivalently this has the intuitive interpretation for a right tailed long tail distributed quantity that if the long tailed quantity exceeds some high level, the probability approaches one that it will exceed any other higher level. If you know the situation is good, it is probably better than you think. All long tail distributions are heavy tailed, but the converse is false. And it is possible to construct heavy tail distributions that are not long tailed. Sub exponential distribution Sub exponentiality is defined in terms of convolutions of probability distributions. For two independent, identically distributed random variables with common distribution function, the convolution of with itself is defined using Lebesgue's Dlgs integration by the n-fold convolution is defined in the same way. The tail distribution function is defined as a distribution on the positive half line is sub exponential if this implies that, for any, the probabilistic interpretation of this is that, for a sum of independent random variables with common distribution, this is often known as the principle of the single big jump or catastrophe principle. A distribution on the whole real line is sub exponential if the distribution is. Here is the indicator function of the positive half line. Alternatively, a random variable supported on the real line is sub-exponential if and only if is sub-exponential. All sub-exponential distributions are long-tailed, but examples can be constructed of long-tailed distributions that are not sub-exponential. Common heavy-tailed distributions all commonly used heavy tail distributions are sub-exponential. Those that are one-tailed include the Pareto distribution, the log normal distribution, the Eliakut VY distribution, the Weibull distribution with shape parameter greater than zero, the Burr distribution, the log gamma distribution, the log Cauchy distribution, sometimes described as having a super heavy tail because it exhibits logarithmic decay producing a heavier tail than the Pareto distribution. Those that are two-tailed include the Cauchy distribution, itself a special case of both the stable distribution and the T distribution. The family of stable distributions, excepting the special case of the normal distribution within that family. Some stable the distributions are one-sided, c.e.g. Eliakut VY distribution. See also financial models with long-tailed distributions and volatility clustering. The T distribution. The skew log normal cascade distribution. Relationship to fat-tailed distributions. 
A fat tail distribution is a distribution for which the probability density function, for larger x, goes to zero as a power. Since such a power is always bounded below by the probability density function of an exponential distribution, fat tail distributions are always heavy tailed. Some distributions however have a tail which goes to zero slower than an exponential function, but faster than a power. An example is the log normal distribution. Many other heavy tail distributions such as the log logistic and Pareto distribution are however also fat tailed. Estimating the tail index. There are parametric and non-parametric approaches to the problem of the tail index estimation. To estimate the tail index using the parametric approach, some authors employ GEV distribution or Pareto distribution. They may apply the maximum likelihood estimator, Pickhand's tail index estimator with a random sequence of independent and same density function. The maximum attraction domain of the generalized extreme value density, where, if and then the Pickhand's tail index estimation is where, this estimator convergent probability to Hill's tail index estimator with a random sequence of independent and same density function. The maximum attraction domain of the generalized extreme value density, where, if and then the Hill tail index estimator is where, this estimator convergent probability to, under certain assumptions it is asymptotically normally distributed. Ratio estimator of the tail index The ratio estimator of the tail index was introduced by Goldie and Smith. It is constructed similarly to Hill's estimator but uses a non-random tuning parameter. A comparison of Hill type and retype estimators can be found in Novak. Software AEST, C tool for estimating the heavy tail index.